All right, let's duo this thing. Was that corny enough? I think that's pretty dang corny. All right, Wax and Robin, I've heard some great things from the Europeans about how good this team is, and I'm excited to watch them. The one uh, downside is on our current drop map brought to you by KXRR0 on Twitter. Uh, they're landing up to the east of Bugle. So, I mean, take that for what it is. So, yeah, we got that. And, unfortunately, they are landing at Kondo in this. So, we're going to see them fight Kondo. Mm, give me that. Give me that. And it's not against any of the teams that are landing Kondo. So, you know, we could fully dive in. I could tell you how they went off spawn and how, how we're being a creeper. Fighting wall to wall. Great little side swing. Getting that edit. Bam. Box. Boom. Another one. All right. Just dominating. Get out me lobby. I'm the best player. But, yeah. Walks and Robin. Really good. Like, really good. Let me see if I can get their placements up while we watch this game. And we're going to hit a little reboot. So, weekly finals, 19th, 5th, 5th. Pretty solid. Last FNCS. Uh, where is that? 12th, looks like. So... Well, good, good performance from these two recently. 12th on Europe. You know, take it for what it is. It's a good, good region. They're very good at the video game. So let's see what they got for us. Actually, I'm just going to skip ahead because it really is irrelevant how they loot and farm this and rotate off this spot because based on all info that I am being given, they're landing here. Now we're camping in Storm. I've seen a lot of these condo teams play Storm here. Like in Aqua and Rizan, Malibuka, Mustache have done it. I haven't necessarily seen Taste and Chapix do it. Um, maybe it's just I haven't watched enough games from them. So I'm not going to say like 100% they don't do it. But it seems like when you land condo, you play Storm, you rotate dead side. But there's also a bunch of other teams that play Storm. And you could see why they have 30 million splashes accurately described by me. I'm good at math. There's a team at vault. So they're just going to be like, yo, get off our vault, dog. Yeah, you ain't hitting that with the Evo Chrome. Sorry, bro. But these guys get there. Likely going to hit some splashes. No, nah, they're mad misting. See, this is why vaults are not OP, but, like, there's so much loot in these things. They're probably the second or third team to roll through here. This is smart, too. You don't want two players with the Evo Chrome. Unless your game plan is to fight people, you need to be able to get those long-range distance. And the bloom on the Hammer AR is literally the size of a person at, like, less than 100 meters. So you can just fry people, bro. I've been doing it, and I have terrible aim. So, think about somebody with good aim that's able to do this. They're back in. See, like, they're just like, oh, cool. Nice little upgrade here. Not only do I get free HP, I also get to go from a green hammer to a blue hammer. And we also get to keep our 30 million splashes. Look at that. So, yeah, these guys need a quick little farm. I would say that they, um... It's weird that they didn't come out of condo with that all that metal, but likely the reason they went into storm is because somebody was being a nuisance and they decided, yeah, nah, let's let's just get out of here. We're too good to be dealing with this ish. Oh, we're fishing. Oh, look at that. It's a fish and a half. No movement here though. They've thrown launch pad. Like they easily could have kept that launch pad, but they just threw it. This is interesting. They've piqued my interest here, boys. A team that is purposefully not holding launch pads. 
Now we're playing a bush. I like it a lot. Are we going to splash or are we going to be greedy? Okay. There's nobody on this side of zone. So they just wibing. We're wibing out. I can't dance. Fun fact. There's a team above them. Oh, a little big pot action. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we're wibing. Get out me lobby. Farming brick. Needs to be careful. Getting a little too aggro. Now we're going to go inside. Be a little more protected. Look at that. Let's go over to our boy walks. What you walks in with? And I've started to do this now more and more often. Sorry to, to pause this in the middle. But... Very interesting. EU is very much like two clusters of players. So we got our one cluster right outside Sleepy. Our one cluster just to the north of Shifty. I hate that they change these names and they're pretty much the same POIs because I I ain't learning the new names. But no, it is what it is. I'll also, let's fix this so we can actually see some of the teams. You know, we got to use our wall hacks. This is like a dangerous era. Everyone right here is fighting for space. And this is exactly what happens on Europe because everyone knows that Surge is a problem and everyone's looking for this fifth zone refresh. I think the fifth zone refresh is probably the best one you could get because if you're able to maximize this opportunity to fight in fourth zone and then either you pull fifth or you get it right before fifth happens, there's so much opportunity for extra loot I think it's the best time to get a refresh in the game. Obviously, you know, there are other times. I should say, I think it's the best time to play for a refresh. Um, and it's not always going to be a refresh. Like, we could look at these guys' mats and everything. They clearly don't need anything. But if they were able to get, like, let's say, a launch pad, cap the AR ammo, and then find themselves extra mats to build more space, that would be huge. But it doesn't happen. So we're just clearing out space. We're trying to drop somebody in. This is this is bold. I don't necessarily like this play. Leaving themselves exposed. And I know I just said I like this opportunity for getting a refresh. This seems forced to me though. This seems like we don't need this. Now they realize, okay, we're over committing to this. I think there's certain plays you can make like a pre-edit play a drop down something like that find somebody below you quick pump them the freer refreshes yes all four the ones where you have to overcommit, you're gonna waste mats you're gonna waste heals it ain't worth it now i want to see what these guys do without a launch pad and they could have just grabbed the chrome splashes there too but decided not to all right, so Zone's pulling back through Sleepy. They have most of this as their builds already. Interesting. Bold move. Robab takes a big shot. So we got to slow this up. Wax just uses the balloon. Oh, get out me lobby, bruv. Hits it. Dude, that would make me so nervous that someone would be in the cylinder and I'm not going to be able to hit this. <laughs> Hits it again. Robab walks, just chill in the air. This reminds me of the rift season when everyone just up in the air. We're going to get these zones, especially with the tornadoes and these balloons. It's just going to be height season for everyone. Robab starting to get shot at. You could think it's walks. That would mess me up. You know, your teammate's up in the air. Someone lands. Robab's going for height here. Walks going to be like, yo, I got you, bro. I'm with you. And then they're like, yo, look at this. Yo, height's free. Bang. Whiffed. Bang. Big investment here on this height. See, lots of materials being used. Reconnecting there. They have 30 million splashes, like we've already mentioned. Playing a very close-knit height play. 
Like, these two are sticking together very well. A lot of times, I see other teams play this differently with one player backside, one player front. These two s seemingly are playing right next to one another and doing a very good job of connecting. It looks like any height plays are going to be shot down. There's no longer any height opportunities for other teams. And these guys just raining the fire down. It's raining help. I don't know what I just said. It's raining bullets. And then I'm trying to think of a Fortnite word that rhymes with amen. But I, I don't got it. Maybe next time, Chief. So we're running low. It's it's a boot time for a refresh. I've also seen a decent number of teams not like zoom in or scope with this hammer. They they are scoping with it. I don't. I, I think it's a matter of preference. Although I do think that like the non scoped is kind of nasty because you get all that field of vision. So these guys basically got a clip and then three clips left. Robab's like I don't care how much AR ammo I have. Yo, Wax, hook it up, bro. Yeah, give me a clip. Thank you. Now they both got about 50 ARs. And when you're chilling on a height like this, no one's contesting you. You ain't got to worry about none. Ain't worry about none. You know what, what they always say. See, now he's not scoping with this. This weapon I think you have to scope with because the bloom is just too big. Walks getting them a couple extra builds. There's Darth Maul on the backside. Walks trying to grab him. And these guys win heal off, right? 10, 16 splashes still. Just not fair. Finds one. Thank you. I like what these guys are doing right now because they're not over committing. They know they're running low on mats, but before they completely run out of mats, they're starting to like lower themselves and make competitive plays, but do so together instead of simply just like dropping down, being a hero, trying to win this game. So we see walks drops down. Boom. Got one. Actually, Flois picks that up, but walks is going to be able to grab the refresh. That's huge. Now this is kind of scary, right? Because we see walks has to go down to play ulti low so that means the guy with the mats the guy with the ammo is gonna have to give this up but doesn't matter it's only one player left robin's gonna be right here to help wax will be on the backside. this guy really has no shot when both players are staring at you with shotguns nonetheless well played by this team i like to see it it's smooth it's calm we don't know how the off spawn's gonna go because Based on what I'm seeing, they're not landing at condo, and bro, please don't add a 14 to condo. We don't need that in our lobbies, but thank you for watching. Thanks for duoing this with me. I will not use that joke after this video. Peace, y'all. Watch the next one.